what's going on bucks fans theater deer lane yo man so check it your bucks got on a little hot streak man we four game winning streak we started off kind of rocky the the whole um injury with brooke lopez was starting to get me nervous man it, it just seemed like i know me I don't, i'm not sure about other fans and um fans of the league if we just undervalue brooke lopez is um, around around the rim uh, defense and and uh, toughness is way to spread the floor and hit open threes, hit up open hit up hit up uh, open shots, and he was still able to get in the post and you know get get his buckets the hard way, the old the old tradition. But um, yeah, man, I think that was something I know I did. I definitely didn't think that you know him being out a few games would you know, stifle our offense and, you know, make it hard to win. And he was also a good a good rebounder. But I think with the emergence of Bobby Portis and then, of course, getting uh, Chris Middleton back is going to help along with Drew Holiday. Anytime you just have all these injuries, you know, you got to be a little patient, man. It was hard. We was a little nervous. And even for me, man, I, I'm, I'm sitting here on FanDuel Sportsbook and still picking the bucks. And I'm thinking, you know, it was just a little too much for Giannis to deal with. But, you know, um, shout outs to Chris Middleton um, being able to get over his illness. And then um, Drew, Mil Drew Holiday able to bounce back from his injury. But Bobby Portis, dog. Bobby Portis, man. I feel like even though with those two guys back, Bobby Portis is making this, um, this absence of Brick Lopez able to... Um, for us, to, for us to able to, to move on and, you know, still get stacked on victories. I'm not going to say the four-game winning streak is because of him, but we are we already knew what um, Portis brought to the table as far as the energy and um, defense and on the perimeter and even in the uh, in the post. But all offensively, like, you are you looking at this man's numbers? 24 points, 15 rebounds, 6 for 7 from 3. And this was just in the uh, Bucks game. Uh, I said the Bucks game, the uh, Magic game. This game, you know, it, it, it blew these dudes out in the first quarter. And um, I think our defense is starting to come back. That Bucks defense, like that best defense in the league, I think that defense is starting to reemerge and make it very, very difficult for any team to just go out and get 120, 115. You know what I mean? So we. We held one player um, to double digits in their starting lineup, and that was Jalen Suggs, the, uh, the rookie. He shot two for seven from three, 14 points, six boards, four assists. But all their double, the rest of their double figures uh, scores were off the bench. Just shout out to Bud, man. That's Bud, and that's the defense. We out read, we out read, we out uh, rebounded these guys by what? They, we had 60 rebounds. They had 39 rebounds. Anytime you're able to pretty much almost um, triple, <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever they're able to do, man, it's very, it's very hard for a team to win whenever you're getting um, manhandled on the glass like that. And then just our defense uh, presence, it was, it was very hard for them, man. Shout out to. Um, Grayson Allen, he had his 16 points, four threes. Uh, Chris Middleton, he's still finding his way back. He only took nine shots, but he had 13 points. And Drew Holiday finished with 11 points, five boards, six, uh, five assists. So solid game from them guys. And a lot of these guys are just starting to get back into the swing of things, man, as far as just um, missing, missing a lot of action and, you know, trying to – just trying to get in the flow of the offense, man. But anytime you're out here performing like that, it's going to be very, very hard to, to be the team that's dominating you on the glass and playing some of the best defense in the league. And then when you have Bobby Portis stroking them like that, it's, it's I'm telling you, man, it's going to be very hard to beat this Bucks team, even with uh, Brooke Lopez still missing games 
And I thought, man, I thought it was going to be a while before we could get him back and, you know, and still start stacking wins. But, you know, with Porter's being able to step in and, you know, make plays, we're, we I can actually say, you know, keep him out a little, keep uh, Brook Lopez out a little longer and make sure he's completely right because this is a long, long season, man. We, we already, we only, what, 18 games in? So right now we're we're the seventh seed in the in the uh, conference, and you know we're definitely not going to finish seventh seed. You know we were in the, we were in the best teams in the league. We just we just didn't have three four starters for two three weeks. Giannis out there by himself, man. So I'm gonna look at the uh, the previous game where we had a victory over the Thunder, 96 to 89. Another solid game from uh, from Bobby Portis. 17 points, 13 rebounds. Giannis doing this thing, 21 points, 19 rebounds. Like, again, we had 53 total rebounds in the Thunder. Oh, they, had, they actually did pretty good as well. They had 53. But it was the, this game was actually pretty much close. We only beat them by seven. And a lot of that because they got Shea. Shea, he's going to keep... You know his team competitive even though they're a pretty much a young team they they will surprise you it's not like they got one or two wins they they, they, they got a couple wins over there and they're doing their thing but they're just they're just undermatched man undermatched but they got josh getty the new uh the new rookie he plays solid as well 14 points 12 rebounds from the shooting guard position so yeah that's a little scary when you allow the two guard to get 12 boards on you but we struggled a little offensively. We didn't really knock down most of our shots. We had uh, Chris Middleton only hit three threes out of eight. And Giannis was 0 for 4 from three. Bobby again with three, three threes out of six. Shooting 50%. And then in the other game, the, uh, the most recent game against the Magic, he was 6 for 7 from three. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, he's, this is why I said Bobby Portis might be the key to this uh this winning streak that we're on right now man i think even with brooke lopez comes back you might want to stick with bobby portis man he's just balling right now man and i think is he's like he he plays with that type of energy that it's infectious like the it's contagious like these other players love that energy and they stick with it and the we had a game against the uh, Lakers before the Thunder game. We beat them 109-102. And let's go check your man Bobby Portis to see what he did. 17 points. We only had one for five from three, but he finished with five rebounds. And this is more of a Giannis game. Giannis shot 23 times. Three for four from three. From shot with Giannis, man. And that's what's going to really make this game, uh, make this team more, more of a threat. If... Giannis is, is consistently hitting the threes because we already had Brooke Lopez, you know, not afraid to shoot and knocking down the three. So if you have a four, if you have your four and five, along with Middleton shooting threes, and then Grayson Allen, which is a pretty good uh, three point shooter, and then Drew Holiday, he's able to dish. And man, listen, this team gonna be scary. Don't think that we 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 suck or. We're just going to be average or we're a championship bust. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. This team is going to continue to get better. And I think it's because of the addition with Grayson Allen into the starting lineup and along with Bobby Portis and his production getting into the swing of things. And I think this game, yeah, LeBron missed this game. But um, rebounding, they have 48, the Lakers, and we have 52. So we had a four-point edge there. And like I said, man, it was just more this game was just more about just Giannis. Giannis is he you can't stick him. Period. When he's feeling himself and he's able to get to the cup at will and he's knocking down a three, it's gonna be very, very hard to stop this man. And then the um we had a game against the Hawks. We lost we was on the two we was on like a two game win streak after our victory over the Knicks. And we lost to the Celtics 122-113. And then we had a 120-100 loss to the Hawks. We lost by 20. So I want to definitely look at the box score and try to see what uh, transpired. I see it already. We had 30 rebounds. 
30 rebounds, man. Now, when you look at the, the, the first box scores I was giving you guys, you didn't see nothing like that, man. You seen us dominating the rebound um, stat and, and playing a great defense. We lost by we lost by 21. They had a 21 point edge in the rebound department. That's scary. That's very scary. And 13 was from Capella, which is a very physical uh, man on the um, in the paint. And Trey Young, 42 points. He gave Drew Holiday fits. This not just Drew Holiday too. So I'm pretty sure we had. Grayson Allen on him, man, and then just to help defense, he just, Trey Young's a special guy, man, 8 for, thir- eight for 13 from 3, almost had a triple-double, but yeah, man, 51, 51 rebounds to 30, had to do it right there, and then I'm pretty sure everybody else, we didn't really um, hit our open shots, Giannis hit 1 out of 5 threes, Portis had 1 out of 4, uh, Holiday 1 out of 4, Connelson started this game, this is uh, prior to Chris Middleton returning, yeah, uh, Pat Collison started. He had three out of seven, which is pretty good. And then Grayson, four out of seven. That was it. That was it, man. This was a better game from Drew Holiday, but it wasn't um, complete as far as the the um, field goal percentage, man. He shot eight for 17, which is something you really don't want to see. But, hey, man, it's, it's still early. It's still early, man, and we need to do we need to do better. I think they this is when they start addressing rebounding and um, making sure that this is very important uh, focal point in practice because before these uh, after these games, man, that's when you start seeing this getting back to that to that rebounding and playing defense a, a grind that we love to see in our Bucks, man. So shout outs to Eric, shout outs to Bobby Portis and uh, us finally getting healthy, man getting Chris Middleton back, Drew Holiday back, man, now, hopefully we can stack some, stack some wins, get back in this, uh, conference standings, man, move up top four, top three, you know how we do, and, you know, continue to stack these wins and, and get our momentum ready for, you know, for the all-star break, I don't really, like, it's, it's kind of hard to judge an NBA team based off of how early it is, man, we, we ain't even played 25 games yet, man, you know what I mean, so a lot of these teams that, that have great records in the in the East. A lot of these teams don't even matter, don't even be there in the long run, man. And just to break down the the um, top eight teams right now in the East, you got Brooklyn thirteen and five, Chicago twelve and six, Miami eleven and six, Washington eleven and six, Charlotte eleven and eight, Boston ten and eight. Then we have us in the Sixers tied at um, seven. Um, seventh place and eighth place with ten wins apiece, eight losses apiece. Well, listen, I ain't gonna hold you, man. These teams, that that a lot of these teams might be there, man. But they somebody gonna have to move over for the Bucks, man, because Chicago's very competitive. I think you might see uh, Washington fall off a little bit, and even uh, Charlotte. But Boston, they're very competitive. But either way, man, we, we're going to finish at least second or third. So shout out to, you know, the Bulls and the Heat for keeping our spot a little warm for us. But, yeah, we coming for that spot, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.